This video will show you some examples of how students can use drag and drop in Moodle 2.3. Here's the desktop of our student Martin. He is in a Moodle 2.3 course and over on the right here he has a PowerPoint presentation he's going to add to an assignment, a photo he's going to put in a forum and he's going to add his avatar picture. So first of all if he goes to his Moodle 2.3 course and clicks on the forum then when he clicks reply in addition to writing in his reply, he's going to upload a photo by drag and drop. So he just types something in the reply box and then instead of clicking add, he just drags the photo in and then clicks post to forum and it's automatically added. And there it is. And so the next thing that Martin, our student, is going to do is he's going to add his PowerPoint presentation to an assignment that he's been set. So when he clicks upload a file as normal, instead of clicking to choose a file from the file picker, again he just needs to drag his PowerPoint presentation in. But if he forgets to click the save changes button, which you should always do, and if he tries to go away from the page, he gets a warning message telling him that he does need to save it first, which is very useful and will be very helpful when we have Moodle 2.3. Finally, Martin's going to go and click on his profile and then he's going to go down to where you can add a user picture and instead of clicking choose a file in the file picker, which he still can do, he's just going to drag from his desktop the avatar that he wants and then update his profile. If we go straight back to the forum where he was, we'll see that that profile picture has appeared already, quite simply, by drag and drop. And that is how students can use drag and drop in Moodle 2.3.